Yeah, I, I just realized, yeah, we still have the, the stuff in our inventory, the, the, the wooden crate and the gold crate, so let's go, uh, let's go put up some of the stuff in our inventory, just to kind of clean that out. Oh yeah, and then we have, uh, more fallen stars that we could use to get more of those nightcrawler, uh, things, so, definitely, uh, use those here in just a bit, but let's put some stuff up real quick. Alright, there you go. 580, I can gel. Sheesh. Ammo? For what? I don't know. Not the, not the slime launcher gun, because that's, like, unlimited. I think, actually, it might be. That might be what it launches, like slime that's in your inventory. Uh, where is it? There's right there, slime gun. So we have 580 right now. If I use this thing, it just kind of slime all over that place here. No, it's not going down. It's still 580. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think it actually uses the slime that's in our inventory. So that's good. So, anyways, let's go put that thing up. Let's go open up these heck and crit. What in the world? Oh, I guess I sprayed Emily with the slime, and there's like slime, and, and also Marco. And there's slime dripping off of him. <laughs> Turn your head off. No, not right now. Armor, weapon, put that up. And let's see what's inside the. You know what? Let's let's save it for last, because dumb the heck and savage like that. But let's put the other uh, crates over here. Let's open up a wooden crate. Uh, oh, let's put up our money too. Six iron bars, uh, nine lesser mana potions, and one apprentice bait right there. So not too bad, I suppose. Uh, put that up over here as well as that there and that up here. Let's go through our big bang. Let's go put up our money. So we could, if we do get money, we can just see how much we have in total. Let's put it all up in there and uh, quick stack. There we go. 77 gold coins now. Woo! That's pretty good. Not bad. And I'm not bragging either. Uh, anyways, another wood crate. We got uh, six lesser healer potions and 40 silver. Brisk sailfish boots. Wait, isn't that what we already had? Or have? Angry sailfish boots. Plus 3% damage. Plus 1%. But I guess we could sell that then, huh? Not too bad, I suppose. It's just free. Uh, what do we get? Right, two gold. Not bad. Three gold. Nice. Oh wait, no, that's just I got one gold from that because it, it, it stacked on top of the two gold we just got. So there's still three gold right there. Not bad. What else did I get right there? Just regular sailfish. Okay, I'll sell those. Pfft. What do I get right there? Iron skin potion and iron ore. Eh, that makes sense. And then the final wood crate. Journeyman bait and lead ore. So journeyman bait. 30% bait powder compared to 15% of the apprentice, I think it was. So that's actually pretty decent, you guys. Put that up over here. And of course, I'll, I'll go put that up in the uh, the fishing. Uh, oh yeah, I need to make a chest for that the other fishing uh, hut that we built. So definitely do that. I guess we'll sell Marco. Get over here and I'll sell you some heckin' boots. So, uh, oh yeah, what's he actually? Yeah, he has like different paint colors and stuff. Musical wallpaper. Does that actually make noise? I wonder if it does. Fancy gray ducky wallpaper. <laughs> Copper pipe. Yeah, maybe I could just use Sparkle Stone. Bubble wallpaper. Copper pipe. Ooh! If we had, like, some sort of engineer guy, maybe the copper pipe would make sense. Hmm. But uh, all the other wallpapers, I'm not seeing uh, Purple Rain. I'm not seeing anything that would fit. Of course, the Starlit one fit me very well, so that's actually really good. But uh, 88 silver for that. 80 silver for that. Yeah, let's just sell both of those. I actually do not care, so boom. Now it's gone. Whoops. Now, the moon. Oh, wait, we got a uh, 13 lead ore, too. So, uh, there you go. And sort items. Nice. But let's see. What are we going to get from that gold crate, you guys? Right click to open. 30 silver ore, 7 mana potion. And I don't know if we got it. Oh, and then we also had some iron ore there, too. Yeah, we forgot about that. Jeez. I don't know if we had uh, any coins that we got right there, but that seemed relatively underwhelming, honestly. I'm like, I know 30 silver ore by just fishing something, but it's heckin' gold. So, I expected like 20 gold or something like that, right? Jeez. But I guess I can't complain too much, so. Uh, because that was completely a fluke that just happened on camera, like, right after I started up this recording bit. Jeez, that was crazy. Either way, let's, uh, put up the silver over here, and I guess we'll see, uh, what can we actually make ingot-wise? Silver bars, how many of those can we make? Eight of those, nice. What else can we make bar-wise? Let, uh, make five of those, nice. Iron, I can make seven of those. Noise. Copper, I guess I'll get that. Pfft. Haven't used copper in like forever, since like the first five episodes or something crazy. And I'm not seeing any more ingots just glancing over everything right now, so I guess we're through with all that. And now we can sort all the items. 33 gold now. So have a 31 crimtain. 104 iron bar, nice. 47 silver, so yeah, we're, we're starting to build those up now that we're not like spending them immediately when we get like 30-ish. To, to upgrade our armor. But of course, we'll be doing that with gold here in the future. And of course, I do need to go mine for gold in the future as well. Uh, because down there in the gold mines, 
It's crazy how much gold we found down there, you guys. Like, big veins of them, too. Like, especially around the minecart tracks. Definitely want to go around here and see if we can find any, uh, any gold that I might have missed by just hovering over it and stuff, you know? Because we've seen that in the past. Like, I hover over, like, an, a thing of, uh, like, emeralds or something. I forget what it was. But it showed me that there were a bunch of emeralds or whatever that we missed and went back and grabbed them. So that was pretty good. Maybe down... Oh, what? Sand flow. Yeah, maybe, like, right down here might be... And maybe right here might be another, uh entrance into a cave area that goes di even deeper and you know what i've been really wanting to do that you guys i mentioned it i kind of foreshadowed it a little bit i'm surprised we didn't find one of oh yeah i guess it makes sense we didn't find a sky fortress because that look at how high we built this thing the battle arena there's still all this room up here for like sky fortresses that you guys were talking about or floating cities or whatever those were but you guys know what i'm thinking about doing i'm thinking about going back to our elevator shaft Get, I have actually a thousand rope on me right now. 999. I have even more in storage just because, you know, it stacks up to 999. But let's go back to our elevator shaft and let's keep digging down, shall we? Let's keep digging down until... Pfft, I kind of want to go all the way down to the bottom, you guys. See what we find down there. Because it's been a while since we've actually done, like, downward digging. We, we, we did a pretty good amount of mining over here with the, the minecart track and all that kind of jazz, but... That's that's kind of just lateral mining. I kind of want to do some just like sh just go straight down, like actually build a, a straight up elevator downwards with that uh, that rope and see what we can find down there, you guys, because I'm, I'm pretty excited. It's been a little while <laughs> and look at just zooming out the big picture map of this is crazy. This is a medium sized world and this seems insane. Like if I did a second season of Terraria, and if I did a, a large world, would I ever explore every inch of that in like 200 episodes? I don't know. <laughs> I can only assume this a large would be like twice as big as this. And I assume a small would be half the, as big as this. I, I'd say starting out the first season here, I guess you could call this of Terraria with a medium sized world was was maybe a little bit overkill. But at the same time gives us a lot of potential for really good adventures you guys i like it anyways i think our inventory is doing pretty well right now if anything i'll just get rid of that and um I i'll get a bunch of wood platforms as well just because i do want to get uh a way of us to kind of build side to side i do know that you guys said uh, a while ago oh did i run out of wood uh i guess i did maybe i have to make the boreal wood platforms now I might have to go off camera. Oh, I can make glass platform, cactus platforms. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I might have to go off camera real quick and go mining or uh, go cut down some trees. <laughs> go mining some trees. Uh, oh yeah, what, what axe do we? Yeah, we have a quick iron axe. 11% speed, 45% uh, axe power. I guess we could get like a silver one now, right? I'm sure we could afford it. Let's see. Uh, we have some board. I'm pretty sure these these would have. They've got to be interchangeable, right? I could use the boreal wood and make like a an axe, I'm sure. But uh, if I want to make an axe, which one do I want to get a platinum axe? 60% axe power compared to 45. That's a pretty decent jump right there, honestly. Sheesh. And of course, we can make the bloodlust cluster 75% axe power for 10 crimtain bars. I'm kind of thinking about doing that, you guys. Just so we have a pretty good jump from our quick iron axe to this. Slow speed fast speed in i don't know if i want this if it's going to be slow like that you know but oh yeah this one's upgraded though so yeah fast speed the regular iron axe is average speed so who knows maybe we'll get lucky with that one it'll be like really good or something gold is 55 this one's 45 so yeah not that big of a jump right there maybe i will make it out of crim team just casually you know so yeah let's go over to bloodlust cluster 10 crim team bars we got that basically from the uh and even less than oh i think a falling star just happened but we, we basically got that even well actually less than that from the uh the most recent eye of cthulhu so maybe we just do like 10 more eye of cthulhu missions and get like a billion crimtain and just just make a full set of heckin' crimtain stuff here in the future oh another falling star it sounds like i think it just killed something so bloodlust strong bloodlust 22 melee damage 22 melee damage slow speed slow speed strong knockback Average knockback. So I guess the knockback is just better for that one. Temperature correction. Right? Yeah. Everything else is just the same. So there you go. Put that up. Now we've got a better axe. Let's go test that out real quick, though, before I pause and, and do some off-camera tree cutting downing. 
Let's go, uh, let's go find these fallen stars wherever they landed. Oh, there's one. Because I think there was a second one. Was it on the right side, or where was it? Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, oh, God. Oh, yeah, I took the, uh, the, the, the climbing claws off, didn't I? Yeah, I forgot about that, you guys. Whoops. I need to get used to that. Remember, I go, oh, yep, there's the other one right there. But I do need to get a, uh, oh, yeah, and that was to, uh, to get the lucky band of regeneration, which slowly regenerates life. Can be worn in van Oh, it can be worn in vanity slots. What? Do I still benefit from that? Oh wait, hold on. Vanity slot. Was that is that just wait, what is a vanity slot? This is a social slot. Is this actually vanity? Social accessory. Equipped in social slot. Is social slot and vanity slot the same thing? I don't know, maybe. Uh kinda wanna see. Cozy fire. Do I have like a a a, a thing on the top left corner? Oh, I'm still getting the cozy fire thing. I'm wearing this. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, I have. I didn't even notice it, but yeah. Uh, there you go. I've got like a heart on my sleeve right there. <laughs> I like that. But where are the climbing claws? Oh, there they are right there. Oh, yeah. You can barely see it right there. Whenever I put the climbing claws on, I got like a Wolverine sort of meme. And uh, yeah, you can still see me wearing the heart of regeneration thing right there, too. But I don't know if this Lucky Band of Regeneration can be worn over here in the. Uh, social accessory slot. Let me go look that up real quick, though. Mm, yeah, I think what it means is that I could wear it in the social slot and still see me wearing it there. And I'm also wearing the, uh, the Wolverine claws there with the climbing claws. But if I do it the other way around, it, the, the, the climbing claws override the lucky band and I'm not wearing it. I think that's what it means. I don't think I still... Yeah, it still says right there, no stats will be gained, nothing. So I think I actually do have to wear it to actually get the regeneration and then the better critical strike chance. So yeah, I think, I think that's what it means. I don't think I can actually get better regeneration by it just being in the social slot right there. And I, I guess, yeah, social and vanity, they're, they're interchangeable. So uh, just by what I looked up right there for a moment. So anyways, let's go back this way. I don't know what I was doing just a moment ago. Was I going to go mining? Uh, oh yeah, I was going to go cut down some trees. Yeah, let's go cut down a tree or two. Uh, I guess this is way away from our house, just because I don't want to have to plant these trees down again. Uh, well, I'm like, I guess I'll plant them down again, but like, I just cut down a big forest, like, right next to my house not too long ago. Actually, it was pretty long ago by now, golly. But, but over here, yeah, let's cut down some of the tree. Yeah, look at that, we got it. Golly, okay, let's go. There was something I wanted to buy from a, a traveling trader a while ago. I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, like a, like a tracker or something like that, right? Uh, and I'm pretty sure... Lemon? Is it me or this axe is actually, like, huge? <laughs> I don't think it makes sense. Is it cutting these trees down, like, slower? Uh, oh, what in the world? I can cut down trees, like, branch by branch? Oh, I can! Hey! I didn't even know that. That's actually kind of interesting. I did not know that was a thing. If I wanted to get, like, a wood without, like, stripping down a whole entire tree, then, uh, hey, there you go. But, uh, if you ask me, cutting down these trees here doesn't seem slower because it said slower speed it actually seems faster hmm i don't know what it actually means by that but uh remember we do have acorns we can plant down uh, i don't know what the actual distance is you have to do between each acorn or sapling or whatever these would be uh, for a tree to grow but there you go that should be fine and we still have seven right now so plant some on this side there's another one and there's another one right there and uh, let's cut down these trees too so there you go. I don't know how much. I, I this is way too much wood, like already. And there's a sapling right there. I planted down. It didn't uh, didn't grow. So I, I guess these are too close. So whatever. <laughs> Someone's going to grow there eventually, right? <laughs> but let's get these. I wonder if these trees can grow here with the uh, like a ceiling, like like right nearby. I wonder if that's a thing that'll still happen here. But I guess we'll just have an abundance of acorns because uh, I'm like oh, we've taken up all the slots over here that could. Uh, yeah, look at that. Can't grow. There's like ungrown acorn sapling things right here. Uh, I'm not seeing any open spots. Ah, there's, oh yeah, I guess where our graveyard used to be. <laughs> I could uh, plant down some trees. So there we go. There's even a. Uh, let's get art. Oh, I can't get a uh, flower with my uh, whatever you call it. So there you go. Get the marigold. Nice yellow marigold. So that's noise. And uh, I guess we'll go back over here and put the uh, acorns back over here. Now we have a lemon. When life gives you lemons, five minute duration, minor improvements of all stats. Hey, nice. nice. I'll put that over here, though. Uh, then we have two fallen stars, so I'll put that up there. Nice. And uh, let's go put up the boreal wood there, and let's get ourselves some platforms using the railer wood. So wood platform. How many? Yeah, we have 28 right now. Uh, eh, 
just get like 300 casually <laughs> just because why not because it seems like I run through or I, I use a lot of that like pretty quickly but it seems like we not might not need that uh, quite as often now especially with our extended topaz uh, grappling hook so that's good anyways is that all the stuff oh yeah we have some extra wood in our inventory so let's put that up and we have an extra workbench so I guess I'll put that up in the stretchers so uh, boom there you go nice we have an extra, oh, yep, there's the campfire, there's the rash radar, and I think everything else in our inventory is pretty much, oh, except for the money. Let's go put up our gold and stuff, so we don't lose this, because we got five gold right there, golly. Quick stack, 82 gold now, nice. Is there anything else over here I might want to put up? Uh, fishing pole, kind of want to keep that, because it seems like sometimes, uh, you could actually fish underground, like I showed earlier. So, speaking of such. Bonefish. Don't think I've caught that one yet. Normally, I would care, or I could care less if I see fish bones floating in the water underground. Okay, so this one, yeah, that, just like I said, can be caught underground and in caverns. Uh, but this is this one is swimming. What? You thought only human skeletons still flailed about in Minecraft? <laughs> Get it for me so I can stick it in someone's bed. Yeah, whenever he first mentioned Minecraft, when I was talking, or he was talking to me a little while ago, I was like, wait, oh god, is that a balloon? It is. Hey. I don't know if these are like new things or if I'm only just now noticing these like background things like the birds and now the balloon. But yeah, he, he mentioned Minecraft. I thought it was an actual reference to Minecraft, but apparently he's just referencing the name of my world, which is, you know, Minecraft. And, you know, I, I've been pretty much avoiding saying that word for like who knows how many episodes by now, right? Golly. But either way, I think we're doing pretty well right now uh, inventory wise, so I don't think we need to worry about that. We've got plenty of heckin' rope, like actually a thousand basically, so let's just head on west, let's go over to the desert biome, and let's go to our, what I've been calling the elevator shaft, and maybe I'll build that up a little bit more, that way I don't have to like go down a little bit, yeah, let's go do that real quick, just so I don't have to like go into that little pit that's down there, I can just immediately just like on this elevation, yeah, like right here, where is it from here? Uh, this actually almost connects up to this rope right here, guys, that's actually kind of crazy. Well, let's go down to the elevator and then like rope upwards so i guess since we're going to be using this so i can often i guess we'll uh oh god almost just died <laughs> oh yeah we could actually get on the rope itself so start digging upwards let's go to smart cursor mode by hitting i know someone a while ago asked me what button it was i think it's control to turn that on if you guys don't know what it is you can just go to your uh set where did i put oh yeah it's on seven sheesh you just go to your settings and look at the controls and see what it is there and of course change it if you don't like whatever button it is by default so I know let's keep digging and uh, place and rope and make it go all the way up to the uh, normal ground level elevation that way it's a lot easier for us to go down the second elevator especially once we start uh, expanding it out to go even further underground we just go one trip up and down and we'll be good to go you guys so let me continue uh, building this upwards and I've gotten to the bit where I can place in the background, which is great. And there's slimes around here, so I'm going to do a trick shot with my heckin' <laughs> with my heckin' yo-yo. And there we go. Nice. And uh, I've got a little bit right here I can keep mining, so that's good. Let's go all the way up, and let's let's get rid of those vines and stuff too. So there you go. Too bad you can't actually climb vines. That'd be really cool if you could though. But I might as well uh, retrieve these ropes back. Oh, nice. Hit that guy right there. <laughs> I was going to retrieve these ropes back, just because I'm going to be using a lot of rope for this upcoming, uh, little adv- What is this, silver? No, oh, a stone. Okay, I was wondering, like, that'd be weird if silver was there, this whole like a diamond, I never knew it. <laughs> but, let's grab the rope back, and, uh, God, these heckin' slimes. I want to use a heckin' trick shot to get you guys, there you go, Mike and Yo-Yo. <laughs> Alright, let's get the, the rope back. I guess I could just use the, uh, oh yeah, too bad you can't use this extendo, uh, hook shot thing to- kind of extend out but also like retract in kind of like a grappling hook you know that'd be really cool if you could do that but uh that's fine. Uh, maybe there is one you could do just like that but uh as far as these like topaz and stuff i think it only sucks you into whatever you're pointing at so that sucks <laughs> good little pun right there uh let's place torches here though just keep it nice and lit up especially if we're coming back during the night time so there you go whoops place two torches there accidentally but oh yeah i need to get rid of these because this is uh where it's opened up and ba boom and if i wanted to oh yeah look at that my my body goes through the the vines there and it makes them swing a little bit <laughs> i like that yeah i'll place some platforms right here just in case i want to go through it so uh just kind of use them up oh uh, there we go i want to go through that and uh there we go nice so i go through that like so perfect all right so let's start heading down shall we golly 
And this is whew, going pretty heckin' fast right now. And now the Doom music is going to start. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, I thought a red slime fall to me down. <laughs> that would have been crazy. There we go. Let's, let's start roping down. And let's see what we can find once we start digging down into the depths, if you will. Oh, well, you look at that. Looks like we found some, what is that, emerald? Yep, more emeralds right there. Nice. So, oh, man, I... Uh, I don't know if the traveling trader is still on our base, you guys. I need to go back there and check real quick. Hold on. Let's get the rest of these emeralds with a torch just to make sure. And yeah, there's a little bit of water down there. Let's, uh, let's teleport back real quick. I don't think it's going to take too long to get, uh, where'd he go? Is he still here? Is he gone? Uh, did he leave? There's Mark. Oh, whoops. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> but I guess he left. I didn't even notice. What is this? Banners, happy, cozy fire, and crimson heart. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where he's at. He's like gone. He must have disappeared during something. Didn't he just spawn in? I don't know. I was, I was busy doing something. I completely forgot about him, so that sucks. I know. I guess we'll get back over there and, uh, well, we have some emeralds, so I guess, uh, how many do we have in total now? Because we had a few. Yeah, we had seven there, 15 now. Oh, man. How many did you need to make a, uh, a thing? Uh, an emerald hook. There it is right there. We have enough. You need, like, what, 15? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna go look this up real quick. Is the emerald hook better? Because I, I think the topaz was, like, right above the, the, the amethyst, which is, like, basically the same thing as a regular, uh, like an iron or whatever hook. So, let me go check this real quick, just to see, just because we're here at the base. So, the, the reach is actually better. It's 24 reach compared to 20 reach of our topaz hook. Velocity is 11.5 compared to 10.5, and okay, it, it only has one hook, so unlike like the slime hook that can hook onto multiple things, I guess, this can only go, I don't know, you know what, if we're going to go deep down, having that extra reach might actually be worthwhile, you guys, 24 reach compared to 20, now if it was the sapphire one that's 22, yeah, I'd be like, okay, I don't know about uh, upgrading to that one, but for emerald, we could afford it, we'll still have like seven emeralds left over. Let's make it, you guys. Emerald hook. Boom. There we go. We got it. Nice. All right. Uh, I, I do know you can, like, make staffs and stuff like that as well, but I think for right now, uh, you know what? We're probably not going to go swimming for a little while. Let's, let's actually put the uh, flippers up and get the climbing claws back, at least for right now, just because we're having that whole ordeal just a moment ago about that. Mandible blood. Wait, what? When did I get that? 14 melee damage. Uh, that's 18. I don't know. I, I guess we could test it out real quick. I don't know how good this thing is. That's some pretty good speed. Just holding it down right there. Swipe, 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 swipe like that. Just like I'm playing uh, Minecraft Dungeons. This has a little bit more range physically, it looks like. Hmm. Hold on. Let's go back to the manual. Yeah, it looks a little bit... Uh, it kind of reminds me of the zombie armor a little bit. But it, it seems like it moves a little bit faster. Yeah, very fast speed. Fast speed. Yeah, that makes sense. But this one looks like it has a little bit better range. And of course, better better damage. Better critical strike, I think. Yeah, 10 to 25. A weak knockback. Average knockback. So eh, I guess, you know, pick what you really want there. But uh, let's go over to Topaz Hook. I guess we can sell this now, huh? If, if we're getting better and better stuff, I guess we'll just sell the, the stuff that uh, armor weapons. The stuff that we're not using anymore, you know? So I, I guess that's what we could do there. Either way, uh, I guess we could put up some of the some of the stuff that we already allocated. So get all that stuff and just kind of throw it up in storage, huh? All right, there you go. And I guess we'll put up that uh, mandible over there because I, I don't know if I actually end up using that thing, you know? Oh, yeah, and then I guess we'll switch on over to the mining helmet because we're going to go mining, you know? But yeah, let me just pause real quick, head back over to where we just were. I don't know, it'll probably take like a minute or two. Yeah, maybe like 30 seconds to a minute or something like that. So yeah, let me just cut out some footage and head back to the to the mines where we were and let's continue digging down, you guys. Let's try and go down to the heckin' center of the earth or something crazy. <laughs> and here we are at the rope. Let's see how long it takes to go all the way down from the very top to the very bottom to where we just were. Because this, uh, I don't know if this is like halfway into the world or what, but this is, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, then I need to actually start placing those ropes. So let's go on over to here and let's start placing the ropes upwards. Uh, oh, yeah, it only goes down whenever you do it like that, so I have to actually climb and then there you go. All right, but yeah, there's a little bit of water right here, so let's go back to smart cursor mode. There you go. Now we need to take care of the water, so, uh, how are we going to do that? I guess, I guess just patch it up with the stone and stuff, huh? Let's do that. How am I going to do that? There you go. And I guess you pet placed a stone there. Oh, wait, what? Got rid of some of the rope right there accidentally. Uh, is that going to get rid of the, uh, the water there? I don't know, but there's a creature. There's a creature. Let me get the, uh, oh, whoops. Let me get this. There you go. Got him with the yo-yo. Nice. You can just go all around like that and actually hoop up to him. So that's great. 
And let's just get the rope back. There we go. Repair that. And is this safe now to, uh... No, there's still water there. What? Hold on. I guess I'll do mine a little bit. Let's mine some more stone here and just gotta get rid of this, the water there. Because I, I guess you could use a bucket to get rid of the stone like that, but I, I don't have the bucket anymore, so that sucks. Let's get rid of that. Let's get the uh, stone back. There we go. A little bit of stuff right there. And I think that should be fine now, right? Is that good? No, there's still what? What? Where is that? You know what? I'm going to I'm going to open up this so it flows out. Okay, there we go. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know why it's such a problem. Anyways, yeah, let's keep heading down. And uh, hopefully we can actually find something over here, you guys. I'm going to zoom out real quick. Jellyfish to the left. Some crimtain to the bottom right. Something to that far left. I can't see what that is because it's just light I see down there, but... Man, I, I assume, yeah, we could probably use the big map and it'll show us what that stuff is, right? Oh yeah, we've already been over there, right? Oh yeah, and then there's like this... Well, yeah, let's go see what that cactus... Whatever that is. It's like weird green. I guess we just go straight to the right and see what that actually is. Because I'm... Oh wait, we have amethyst down. Well, we already learned amethyst is trash, right? So I, I, I guess we'll grab it, but like we're not going to use it for anything, huh? So that sucks. And it was a little bit of silver down here, it looks like. Yeah, silver ore. And like an opening. Yeah, like a cave opening. Ooh, that's good. Grab the silver and stuff real quick, though, and then we'll head on over to the right like I wanted to do. Yeah, there's like a, an opening over here. There's some water down there, it looks like. There we go, grab all that. There we go, nice. Let's uh, head upwards. And, I don't know, like right here-ish, we started building, uh, started digging to the right. So, let's see what's over here. Let's see what that weird green was over here. It looked like it was underwater. It might just be like, like the underground seaweed or something crazy, but... Yeah, let's just head on over there, because I'm very curious about that, you guys. Oh man, yeah, I need to watch out for the sand here. Because of course I can take damage from the falling sand. So let's definitely just- Oh god! Now we got one of these guys. Hold on, where is he? I'm gonna get him with a katana, because... Can't really- Oh, there he is! Nice, can't really see where he's at to get him with the, uh, with the- Whatever the thing is, uh, the artery over there, so... Yeah. Anyways, oh, is that water? If that's water, I'm not gonna dig into that. Yeah, let's not- let's not dig into that anymore, but... Oh yeah, that's where we have to go. That's where the stuff is, apparently. Let's, let's dig upwards, though. But what is that green? Let's see. Let's start placing some torches over here, too, so we can actually not just fully rely on the mining element, you know? Yeah, that is, like, just underground. Like, sea- oh god. Like, seaweed or something. Hold on. Is there anything actually in here? Yeah, there's actually- no how did- how in the world did my character know about that? That's what I want to know. Oh yeah, we don't have the flippers on right now, so we need to be very careful, you guys. But we do have the magic carpet, so we can actually, you know, stay above water like this. <laughs> but, oh wait, yeah, there's a hole here too, and then there's... Wait, what? Oh, that was the falling sand, yeah. Need to watch out for that. But there's something over there to the right, a red slime. Oh yeah, that's where we've been already. Wait, what is that up there? There's something blue up there, is that diamond? I don't know what that is. Hold on, I kind of want to go see what that is, hold on. Yeah, right there, how did I not see that? I guess we'll dig up and we'll see what that is, you guys. Holy heck. Yeah, let me just dig all this stuff real quick, because I do want to get back to mine straight down. And I'm getting really distracted here by all the, the minerals and all that kind of stuff. And there you go, we got the... Okay. Yeah, let's just dig up like this, and of course we could use the new emerald hook. To, uh... Can I use it that way? Yes, I can. Nice. Just kind of latch on. But of course we're going to... Oh wait, is that even anything? Or is that dinosaur bones or fossils or whatever? I can't tell. Like, right there. It looks like there's something there, and I don't... I'm like, I guess if we let the water flow down, it's not really going to do anything, huh? I don't think there's anything there. Did I even get anything? Copper ore, iron ore, silver, amethyst. Yeah, I don't think there's anything actually there, you guys. Is that silk? That's mud, I think, yeah. I don't think that's actually anything there, you guys. There you go. Oh, yeah, didn't I see that uh, we could actually use that to break fall damage? Definitely want to try that out some more often, you guys. Some crimtain down there, but of course, as we already know, we can get crimtain pretty easily by just doing the Eye of Cthulhu. Oh, wait, what am I doing? It's just, uh... There we go. You that. There we go. <laughs> nice. All right, let's let's place some torches here too. Just kind of light it up, just because it is extremely dark right here. But there we go. So now we're back to our. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll uh, start placing down some some uh, some rope too, because we do need to kind of build that up a bit. So let's. Yeah, how far does that actually go? Hold on. It's actually a great opportunity to try this out. Zoom out a little bit. How far does this actually extend out? Oh God! Didn't even mean to. <laughs> I don't want to latch on to anything, but this thing is so fucking long. That's actually. That's actually pretty long, you guys. That's really, really useful. Hold on. And then let's use this to climb up like that. Yeah, nice. And let's zoom back in. Let's put the rope. There we go. All we have to do is just get to the rope and then just place it on the rope and it'll, it'll automatically extend down. So that's good. And uh, continue doing that like so. There we go. Nice. And of course, there's a little bit of iron right there, but 
I mean, if I need the iron, at least it's like right there, and I'll be like, okay, there's some iron right there. Let's just come back and get the iron, you guys. But for right now, is there anything in this, like, I guess I'll check real quick before we continue just digging straight. Ah, you know what? We're going to dig straight down anyway, so let's just continue digging straight down, shall we? And we'll actually see if there's anything inside there. And of course, if we want to get back up to this rope, we'll just use our brand new emerald hook. And that's going to be amazing. Reach there, you guys. 